Okay, I'm out here at the Rudolph Bennett shooting range at 25 yards. Uh, I put this Crimson Trace uh, CTS 1550 on my FMK uh, 9mm and I need to sight it in today. So I've got 50 rounds of uh, lead round nose uh, that I cast myself, uh, loaded myself. It's got 4.2 grains of universal powder in it. So we'll see how it does. testing the performance as well of these 125 grain uh, homemade cast bullets lead round nose 9 millimeter the function and the accuracy once I get this thing sighted in so. I'm just going to load 10. This thing holds 14. But since I'm trying to get it sighted in. I'm going to go three round group, three round. Then just I'm gonna go check. You're all the high left. They're all high and to the left, so I need to make some adjustments. the gun so if I need to go to the right I turn it clockwise and up is clockwise but I need to go down so I'm gonna go counterclockwise there's no clicks I'm just giving it about a half a turn each then we'll shoot three more rounds Try again. This is 25 yards I'm shooting at. So. Go ahead and unload the gun now because I know I'm going to be making adjustments. I'll go down and check it out. Too far to the right, and I need to bring it up. Empty chamber, dry fire again. Okay, so now I need to take it to the left just a little bit. Just went about a quarter of a turn. And I need to go up a little bit. I went a half a turn the other way and it was too far. Okay. So now I need to take it to the left just a little bit just went about a quarter of a turn and I need to go up a little bit I went a half a turn the other way and it was too far so I'm just gonna go about a quarter of a turn all right let's try that
gun is empty. Adjustments. I got bit by the slide there because of the way I was holding the gun like that. Because I usually don't hold it like that. Put my back there. Lesson learned. Okay, I need to go down a little bit more. And to the left. I need to load some more. Put nine in this time. Oh, I missed it. Uh, I'm not going to shoot that anymore. It's out of the out of the area. I like it. I had it. One failure. The primer, it's a heavy primer strike on there. Must be a bad primer. Hmm. Try it again. Not that time.
that's the only failure I've had with this ammunition uh, that I made and the, the primer was struck it didn't look like a light primer strike it just didn't go off Guns so, empty and clear all right well I like the gun I like the sights I like the ammo that's all for this round thank y'all